Hi guys, I'm Jeremy and here's a trek I did up to Umantai Lake, which is this really pretty lake next to the town of Sore. I took a motorcycle from Cusco, 120 kilometers up to this town. And it's an easy two miles up to this really beautiful lake. And then I stayed that evening in that little village, Sore. And this is actually where the Selkantai trek begins. And so this is one of the three popular treks that people would go to get to Machu Picchu. So some people take the train in and then from town you could hike up. That's like the easiest way. Or you could do the Inca Trail, which is really historic. And it's got a lot of history and things to see. There's a jungle trek, which is at a lower elevation. And then this Salcantai trek is five days and it's like the high elevation hike. So you get to see some pretty alpine lakes. I didn't end up doing the whole hike because I didn't have five days at that time. But if I was to choose any of the three hikes, I would do this one. So this is a good preview to see what that town's like if you were to head up there and if you're gonna do this lake. So anyway, hope you enjoy the video. as usual. So we got up to this town about 25, 30 minutes ago and got a room with the one lady I talked to yesterday. It's funny too, because we were walking around <laughs> like the area where we'll stay for like almost 10 minutes. <laughs> and then we left and we were gonna go to another place because we couldn't find anyone. And then we went back and it was like the lady <laughs> who's kind of like sitting down at the table, kind of funny. They have some pretty posh resorts here too, so we got the cheapo for like 10 bucks, but you get some pretty nice ones up here too. Colorado is beautiful, and I still haven't done some of the nicest hikes, like up to the Maroon Bells and some of those areas, but wow, out here it is epic. Another reason why uh, people should come out here, it's just beautiful. And I'd much rather be out here than in Colorado in like December or January. Nice weather out here, it's great. Not a super big fan of the hiking in the winter and snowshoeing. Of course, when I get close, the uh, clouds start rolling through. 
hopefully I get a view. <laughs> pretty luckily i still get a view of course clouds uh obscure some of it but it's still a nice easy hike it's probably only about a two hour round trip so totally worth it let's come up here but definitely worth coming up here if you're uh you know in the area you come up to this village sore and just at least do this two hour hike now the most popular thing here is people do this Salcante trek, which is like four or five days. It actually goes to Machu Picchu. I was hoping we might be able to even take our motorcycles on part of that. And you probably can do quite a bit of it, but right after here, you, you have the huge peak and a pass. I don't think that's passable on the crappy motorcycles we have. Maybe on a nice like an enduro or something. And then there's a couple other treks you could do if you're gonna go to Machu Picchu. You've got like a jungle trek for a few days and then an Inca trail trek, which is more historical for like the Inca cultural relics. But this hike here is uh, probably the most beautiful one in the area. This one in Colca Canyon are probably two of the most popular ones. So as usual, a little tough the last kilometer or so it, up to Alpine Lakes. There's usually a relatively steep climb and you're up just over 4,000 meters. So, uh, but not too bad. and. Uh, right now I'm at uh, the lakes at 4,300 meters. So that's, I don't know, about maybe 12,500 feet or something like that. But definitely nice one. You guys gonna let me through here? <laughs> it's gonna be a showdown because I wanna go get a beer soon, so. If we have to uh, fight for this trail, you might lose, buddy. So, yeah, you better get moving. It's good to finally get out and do a hike, though, because I haven't really done much exercise on the trip except, you know, walking through towns and, you know, sitting on the motorcycle most of the day. So I would have even did, uh, you know, one of these tre treks for like a week. Like this is one of the ones I, I wanted to do, but my buddy doesn't like hiking at all. Like yeah, that's why I didn't come up here right now, which fair enough, it's not for everyone. He actually got in a motorcycle accident a long time ago, whereas I got ran over in China by an SUV and my femur's uh, not in great condition. So I totally hear why he wouldn't want to get into it. I know I've only got a few years left of hiking in me, uh, I mean, I you know, I could hike, let's say, 20 years, but I mean, even now there are arthritis and stuff and so much uh, loss of strength. So, yeah, China took off probably 10, 20 years of, like, good hiking years for me because, yeah, what a bummer. Gracias. Those will be some wicked peaks to hike up. <laughs> it's a mountaineer up, obviously. I don't even know how many people have ever done them. The one to the right said it's about 5,700 meters, and the other one to the left is about 6,000. That's the other 6,200 meter peak. Don't think I'll be doing that uh, on this trip or ever, but it looks cool. Now I see why the guy earlier was saying that we couldn't drive our motorcycles here to the other resorts. Those two or three nicer ones over there. And sometimes you don't know if people are bullshitting because like they might want you to park because like they can get money for it or this and that. And, uh, but yeah, you, you could not get a motorcycle through there unless uh, you want to like lift it up through that. And you can't get too much further. I mean, we could have parked at the parking lot and then carried our backpack, you know, like for 15, 20 minutes, but. The place we got's fine, so pretty basic. 80 for uh, the basic room, but that includes breakfast and dinner and Wi-Fi and shower. So uh, yeah, the room's it's fine. It's, it's nice out here. I like being out in a place like this instead of a city every day, just about, you know. But when I come back other times, I'll do some more of the uh, the mountains and there's so many other places too, because of course these three or four treks around Machu Picchu and Colca Canyon are so popular, but I mean, you look on the map, there's just, you know, thousands of different options, just like Colorado, you know, there's a few popular trails that people do, but 
you really have thousands of options same thing in china everywhere else you know and you just you could just look at a map and just kind of blaze through an area there's probably locals who you know travel on uh, areas with their mules and pack animals and you know have villages in different areas and you could just walk in between you know some valleys and passes i bet there's a lot of room for tourism here actually because everyone like i said keeps doing like those same four or five tracks in machu picchu but i think this country's got so much stuff even near lima i'll hopefully uh, check out some things there's some really beautiful alpine lakes and mountains you know only a couple hours from lima so yeah there's a lot of options in peru oh he's kind of following me for a minute i thought i met a new friend so I thought it'd take me about two hours, but it actually was about three hours. Kind of slow coming down too, because I can't come down too fast when it's steep like that. So not in great shape either, but yeah, nice hike. Dinner time. I should probably be sitting at this table with that kid. My Spanish is so bad. I should probably soak up like a good five hours of that show. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. I have plenty more uh, videos on Peru and I'm doing a lot of true crime and other travels on this channel. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and you want to see more and I'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs> Tengo un sonido diferente cuando voy con la H.